Well, like lots of teachers, looking for ways to improve the children's learning, but uh, I'm not that good at it. So I found this book, Evidence-Based Teaching, which Mr. Jeff Petty has pulled together a whole lot of research um, about what works well in the classroom. Uh, the difference between this research and some of the stuff that you get from um, an ordinary inset or from the government is that the only things in the book are things which have been tried out hundreds of times and all that research information being brought together to get if you like an average effect. So all so uh, using work by, by this guy which is Robert Marzano from America uh, there's a list of about ten things which clearly work better than others in the classroom. Well, um, what I'm trying to do here is show, just show how an ordinary teacher in an ordinary classroom might apply some of these ideas. So, first thing is, it's an ordinary class. We haven't selected the children. Nobody's been excluded for behaviour. Uh, although, of course, I have chosen a class where people are not that horrible. But it's a middle ability group, set three. Um, also, it's not a special lesson. Obviously, I probably planned it better than I normally would, but it's just what we're going to be doing anyway. Um, and so that's my intention for the day. Hopefully, you will see it warts and all. Um, the other thing to be clear about is I'm not trying to show you the right way to do this type of teaching. All I'm trying to do is give an example of how I have tried to apply it. I think that uh, if you want to apply it yourself, you need to look at some of the material and see how you could do that in your own lesson. If, before you can learn something, you have to link it to something you already know. If you had never heard of any of those things, then I would have to start off just telling you these, what these things were. But I've, just listening to the conversation, I think that some people have at least heard of some of them. Which one have you heard of and where? Um. At oxygen. Yeah, where have you heard of that? Breathing in, just at the moment. So oxygen, you breathe in. <coughs> yeah, okay, Liam? Uh, uranium is used in nuclear weapons. Uranium is used in nuclear weapons, absolutely excellent. Tessa? Um, helium is in the balloon. Helium is in the balloon. What, what particularly about the balloons? Not just any old balloon. One that goes, like, one that floats. Okay, so a floaty balloon and... Somebody else tell me something Something else about helium. Yes, Georgia? It rises. It rises, we've got that. Gabby? When you, when you breathe it in, you talk really fine. Yeah, when you breathe it in, when you try to speak afterwards. It makes your voice go very high. OK, Martin? <laughs> it's lighter than air. Excellent. Right, so next one. Martin, can you give me one which metal uh, element which you've heard of? Iron. Iron. Where, where have you heard that? Um, it's it's like metal, you make, you, you make things out of it. You make things out of it. Do you know anything in this room which is made of iron? No. Okay. Uh, iron in your blood? There is a little bit of iron chemicals, iron compounds in your blood. But can anybody answer me a simple question? If you swing your leg, you might be able to kick it. Andrew? Yeah, the legs... The legs of the table are made of iron. Okay. Uh, that's probably made of something else. Chlorine, you get it in Chlorine, you get it in swimming pools. Do you know why they put it in swimming pools? Uh, Brendan? It kills germs. Excellent. So people know quite a lot about this already. Carmen? Iron in food. Iron, ca iron compounds are in food, yeah. In fact, in cereal, you can find the little tiny bits of iron. I don't know if you noticed, but at the beginning of the lesson, he very confidently... Uh, Got the whole thing nearly right, so you should listen to what Ryan says. Aluminium that I use on planes. They use it on aeroplanes. Do you know why they use aluminium and not iron on aeroplanes? Because you can, it's flexible. Flexible and? Doesn't get too hot. Doesn't get too hot, doesn't get too hot and? They use, um, they use 